Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider before engaging in any physical activity that might cause or aggravate a condition or injury. We want you safe and feeling good. Hi, welcome to Primal 7's lower body flexibility video. I'm Jenna Ellis, physical therapist for Primal 7. This video is intermediate. We'll be moving in and out of different positions with our lower body. Our focus is on trying to loosen up our legs and our hips. In this video, we'll be using our Primal 7 system. As an option, you can use a yoga mat or a towel on the floor for comfort. You can also have a second towel or a blanket handy in case you'd like a little extra support for your knees. The last thing you'll need is a small ball, like a lacrosse ball, a golf ball, or a tennis ball. We'll be using it for the bottom of our feet. Our Primal 7 band will first start detached from the system, so we can use it to stretch out our legs. After that, we'll reattach it to the system, and it will be resting just on the floor. Throughout this video, we'll be moving and flowing in and out of different positions, helping you get a little bit more range of motion with each rep. Before we start, take a moment to bend down forward towards your toes. See how that feels. Stand back up, move your hips around, maybe try a little bit of a squat, and then make a mental note and see how this all feels. We'll retest it at the end of the video. Let's get started. Lower body. Start with the band disconnected. Place the band around your right foot and reach your leg up straight until you feel a stretch in the back of your leg. Try to keep your knee as straight as you can. If the band feels too short, try using a robe tie, a belt, or a yoga strap. Three, two, one, rest. Bend and straighten your knee five times using the band. Reach your right leg up straight again until you feel a stretch in the back of your leg. As your leg relaxes, pull it back just a little further. Three, two, one, rest. Point and flex your foot five times. Switch the band to your left foot. Reach your leg up straight until you feel a stretch in the back of your left leg. Again, try to keep your knee as straight as you can. It's okay if one side is a little less flexible than the other. Three, two, one, rest. Bend and straighten your knee five times using the band. Reach your leg up straight again until you feel a stretch in the back of your left leg. Three, two, one, rest. Point and flex your foot five times. Rest. Switch the band to your right foot. Cross your right leg over to your left side until a stretch is felt on the outside and back of your leg.
keep your knee as straight as you can. Three, two, one, rest. Bring your leg back to center and straighten and bend five times. Cross your right leg over to your left side again until a stretch is felt. Keep your knee as straight as you can. Point and flex your foot five times with your legs still crossed over your body. Switch the band to your left foot. Cross the left leg over to your right side until a stretch is felt on the outside and back of the thigh. Keep your knee as straight as you can. Three, two, one, rest. Bring your leg back to center, straighten and bend your knee five times. Cross your left leg over to your right side again until a stretch is felt. Keep your knee as straight as you can. Three, two, one, rest. Point and flex your foot five times with your legs still crossed over your body. Relax the band down, sit up, and reattach the band to the buckles on each side, and pull the safety covers over the buckles. Face away from the anchors and place your left knee on the floor, and your right foot on the floor in a lunge position. Reach your left arm up and gently push your hips forward. Squeeze your abs and your left glute tight. Remember to stay upright and avoid bending your body forwards. You will feel a stretch in the front of your left thigh. Three, two, one, rest. Place both hands on the floor to bend forward, straightening your hip out and in. Repeat five times. Come back into your hip flexor stretch. Reach your left arm up and gently push your hips forward. Remember to squeeze your abs and left glute tight. Remember to stay upright and avoid bending your body forwards. Three, two, one, rest. Place both hands on the floor inside your right foot. 
circle your hip five times clockwise and five times counterclockwise. Switch legs. Face away from the anchors and place your right knee on the floor and the left foot on the floor in a lunge position. Reach your right arm up and gently push your hips forward. Squeeze your abs and your right glute tight. Remember to stay upright and avoid bending your body forwards. Three, two, one, rest. Place both hands on the floor and bend forward, straightening out your right hip, then sit back towards your right foot. Repeat five times. Come back into your hip flexor stretch. Reach your right arm up and gently push your hips forward as you squeeze your abs and right glute tight. Remember to stay upright and avoid bending your body forwards. Three, two, one, rest. Place both hands on the floor inside your left foot. Circle your hips five times clockwise and five times counterclockwise. Your back knee will stay off the ground the whole time. Rest. Turn around and lay on your back with your knees bent. Cross your right foot over your left knee and grab your left leg with your hands. Bring your leg back towards your chest. You should feel a stretch in your right glute. Three, two, one, rest. Bend your right knee in and out from your chest five times. Rest, then place your right hand on your right knee and your left hand on your right shin. Pull the knee up and over towards the left shoulder and gently rotate your shin down with your left hand you will feel a stretch in the back of your right glute. Three, two, one, rest. Come back to center and bend your right knee in and out from your chest five times. Rest. Cross the left foot over the right knee and grab your right leg with your hands. Bring your leg back towards your chest. You will feel a stretch in the back of your left glute. Three, two, one, rest. Bend your left knee in and out from your chest five times.
rest. Place your left hand on your left knee and your right hand on your left shin. Pull the knee up and over towards your right shoulder and gently rotate your shin down towards your right hand. You will feel a stretch in the back of your left glute. Three, two, one, rest. Bend your left knee in and out from your chest five times. Rest. Stand back up and come into your band with it resting at your hips. Walk out until the straps are taut. Place your hands on the floor and push your hips up and back towards the wall. Squeeze the top of your thighs to help straighten out your knees. Three, two, one, rest. Pedal your feet like you're walking up and down stairs for 10 reps each foot. Come back into down dog. Press your hips up and back towards the wall. Squeeze the tops of your thighs to help straighten out your knees. Stay active in your shoulders and push away from the floor. Three, two, one, rest. Pedal your feet 10 reps each foot again. Rest. Stand up, come out from the band, and grab your ball. You may sit or stand. Gently roll the ball across your right inner arch and middle of your foot. You can also set your heel down and move the ball across just below the ball of your foot. Three, two, one, switch to your left foot. Gently roll the ball across your inner arch and middle of your foot. Avoid going over the bony parts of your foot, such as your heel and the ball of your foot. Set your heel down and move the ball just below the ball of your foot. Three, two, one, switch feet. Apply as much or as little tension to the foot as you need. Two, one, switch feet. 
Again, gently roll the ball across your inner arch and middle of the foot, avoiding bony spots in your foot, such as the ball of your foot and your heel. Move the ball gently across your foot. Three, two, one, rest. Now that you've finished stretching the lower body, let's go back and look at the movements we talked about in the very beginning. First, bend forward towards your toes. Then come back up and move your hips around or come into a little squat. Did you notice you're able to go a little bit farther than the beginning? Or maybe you feel like your muscles are a little bit more relaxed with less tension. Staying mobile and flexible is an integral part of exercise, and we need it to be able to slow down and give our bodies a little extra TLC. You can incorporate any of these flexibility videos into your own workouts on a regular basis. Keep up the consistency, and you should soon start to notice improved mobility in your workouts and your movements on a daily basis. Great job today, and I'll see you next week.